I need to get this beard sorted out and a haircut. Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the Inverts Tapientius Gigas Orange Tree Spider X Tapientius Giger. Gigas. Um, we paired these a little while ago. We've had the egg sack um, all over Christmas and into the new year and the females now opened it. We've got babies. I don't need to go and check on them to make sure that they're okay and they're all doing really, really well. Um, we're also going to run a competition. So that competition is for you guys at home in the UK to guess how many slings that you think that that female has got and when it comes around to the molting out again into slings and uh, for me to separate them whoever hits the nail on the head uh, get guesses the correct amount will actually win two slings do not worry if there's three or four of you all th all of you guys that correctly get the correct answer will receive two slings but it's only open that that is only open to people inside of the uk and this is down just at the postage but anyway i am far too excited to rub it on so let's go check out mummy and her babies so this is our amazonius germani enclosure and i'm going to do a little bit of maintenance while we've got a top off and while we're just checking on the babies but she is down there and i am panicking at this stage because i can't see any babies um don't worry they are there but the water dish it's got filled up with dirt from mom. That needs a good clean out and a bit of a wash. And then also topping up. But the whole enclosure needs to be a bit more dampened as well. So I need to get that done before we check out the babies. So, kaboom! There's the water dish full of beautiful water for our spider. As well as the moss and the substrate being now all slightly moist. Um, but down that hole is where mummy is and where those babies are. So what we're going to do is see if mum would like some food first of all. Because those babies are down there and they're completely fine. So does she take it? Does she not? <laughs> oh, look at her. Comes running out, takes that roach. Her babies are right down the bottom and she's got no intention of going anywhere near them with that food. <laughs> Uh, you deserve that you really really do you beautiful girl uh, look tiny bit of venom on the fangs a little bit of ven uh, fang action there as well oh my god she is absolutely enjoying that roach um but yeah we're gonna check now and have a look downstairs um to see what babies are down there um, and what's going on so here they are look just look I've never experienced viewing spiders, babies like this, when they're this small with their mom. One more mole and they will actually be slings. But just look, absolutely beautiful. I am just, <laughs> it's not very often I say this, as you probably know how much I waffle, but I am lost for words. Oh my God. And if you look where my finger is, that's mum's leg. So the mum has actually still got her her paw on her babies, making sure they're all safe and sound. Now, the outside, or the inside of this enclosure is actually all webbed up. So I am having difficulties trying to pick the spiders up through the web. But my God, we're getting a glimpse into the secret life of a spider, aren't we? I mean, look. Just look how many there are. Um, I'm actually going to... Oh, my word. Um, yeah, we're going to run a competition, as I start, said at the start of this video. Um, if you guess the right amount or the, or the person closest to guessing the right amount of slings, when we come to take them out, we'll win two of these and I will post them out to you. You have got to be in the UK because I can't post outside of the UK, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, if you comment down below with the number of slings that you think is in this clutch um, and whoever is either on point or the closest to will win two of the babies. But just, oh my word, I am just... I, I mean, that's with the flash. I mean, it's it's awful photography. I do apologise, but it, it is literally the best I can do, given that I've got to try and film through all that webbing. Oh, my word. Another little tunnel, but look how many they are. Um, there is a couple of those. I think there's two layers of um, 
of slings there as well. Uh, <laughs> and they've all started to web as well. So there's a lot. The slings themselves have created that web that you can just about see. But there's mum's poor look in touch with her babies. So even though she's eating that roach, if anything goes near those babies, she is going to know about it instantly. And um, where they have started webbing, that means they will start to all molt out into slings very, very soon. And I just can't wait, because just look. Absolutely, oh my God, just beautiful. And we'll finish on the beautiful mum. Girl, you have done a very good job. Thank you so much. Boom! My God, if those babies aren't worth dropping a like on this video, I don't know what is. Um, and if you could possibly share this video out as well, that would be absolutely fantastic. I am still absolutely buzzing about this breeding project. Um, we've had egg sacs before and all the rest of it, but I've never deliberately left the egg sac with mum and kind of watched this stage. What happened with the Sarmapaeus and Myrnia in previous is that I didn't actually know she'd had the egg sac. So I thought she'd molted out and that was the end of it. So we carried on feeding and all the rest of it and she actually had the egg sac and then the slings appeared literally as slings. Um, so I am still really, really excited. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really, really do appreciate each and every single one of you. And as always, we shall see you again on the next one.